evidence of the operation. We've confirmed evidence of large-scale focus production at the Order of Truth's main base. Production scale is approximately 20 times larger than Albion's total forces. Also, missing medical corps members. All members confirmed to be KIA. Eugen, comms are unstable, but we have received your report. Please quickly return to Albion. Looks like those forces are already on the move. Corral's fleet has arrived. Research. I'm listening. Records have been restored. Let's see. 
seems that your parents were instrumental in recovering the relic of the ancestors. But the records don't specify the location from where their last transmission was sent. Hmm. That will make it difficult to trace. It won't be easy. But yes, I think there is a way. I've been working on a piece of technology that amplifies and traces specific communications frequencies. This is a good opportunity to test it. I've built a prototype. We may be able to use it to trace the coordinates of the last transmission. However, the device won't last long because it tends to overheat. I'll need to find a fix for that at some point. But we can test it with components from a Colossus. Specifically, Magisters are probably humanity's real hope, don't you think?
Did you call me? I did wonder where all the manufactured Volgus went, but I never expected them to be battle ready this quickly. No matter how solid our defense line is at the White Knight Gulch, against a force that large, we won't be able to protect the Ironheart. And because they've divided their forces, Albion is under threat as well. This is why the Volgus pulled their forces back from the White Knight Gulch. To make us lower our guard, and to lure us into the White Knight Gulch with the Ironheart. We should head back to HQ. I'll take Dr. Han to the Medical Corps. Don't worry, I don't need any help. When I got him on his feet earlier, he wasn't heavy. He really is just like paper. I could probably carry him around. He's so light. Did you know that Eugen can't use his RK abilities on himself? He sacrifices so much for his teammates, and he can't even heal his own heart. I feel so bad for him. But I know he'll be fine. <laughs> he has you and me, after all. His partners in arms. Don't worry about him. Let's head back. I'll see you soon. That's a promise. This is HQ. Again, all zones in Albion are on high alert. Any descendants who are operation ready should meet at HQ. We also need descendants in the void zone. Classification type, pyramid. This. Descendants, Corel's fleet has begun its approach. The predicted attack targets are the White Knight Gulch, where the Iron Heart is located, and Albion. HQ's predictions of the numbers of remaining Volgus forces have been completely inaccurate. <sighs> to mass produce that many troops so quickly. Corel lured us into a false sense of victory, then used that to bring the Iron Heart into the Volgus' orbit. Also, after the phenomenon of the light beams near the Hagios, the dimensional wall has been weakening at an alarming speed. The closure of the dimensional wall and this diametrically opposite phenomenon. This might be due to the inversion that Corel spoke of. We're already seeing the Colossi being affected. Descendants, for now, please prepare for an intercept battle. According to Seneca's report, the pyromaniac Colossi are approaching Ingress. This truly is the worst case scenario. First Corral's fleet, and now the Colossi? I've just changed shifts. Did anything happen? Thank you. 
For the Commander's explanation, the intercept of the Pyromaniac has been confirmed. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the Dimensional Wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corel's great army, or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the Dimensional Wall disappears. Strategy, tactics, troop numbers. We're at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Mel. We have one final option. Alpha? If it's new research, we can use this device to set up a trace and get the results we need. It shouldn't be long. Hmm. All right, we have the final coordinates. And it looks like my device is melted. 
I'll definitely have to make some improvements. That's not important right now. Where is the location? Come on! Impatient as ever, Bunny. I'm almost there. Hang on. Hmm. I... I know this place. The lab. The location was under our noses this whole time. The lab? Do you mean the Magister lab? It was abandoned when a proper research facility was built in Albion. It won't be easy to get there now with the Volgus in the way. I have a backup emergency device that can teleport you to the lab's entrance. I built it a long time ago, but this will be the first time it'll actually be used. Humanity is very weak. That's why humans need us so desperately. Got a question about the operation? As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation is one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the guide. I should never have become commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be. As you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command. We must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Come with me, Descendants. It is our turn now. This is... Descendants, we are close to achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, the situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in the White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Vulgus battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an iron heart which is linked to a prime hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. 
For you, however, I have a different request. Descendant, come with me to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that Pillar of Light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain, as if my skin was peeling and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted Iron Heart there. Corel would have connected it to a prime hands in order to collapse the dimensional wall. We must stop this before the dimensional wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted Iron Heart. If we fail to do so, even if the Iron Heart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted Iron Heart, the I will deliver the mission to detach the Iron Heart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there, descendant. Guys, this is Jaber. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Eamon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. I don't think Eamon appearing at this point in time is a coincidence. I'm sure it's related to this incident. That is indeed unusual. I'll join you there, Jaber. You're here for modules, right? 